the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Well, where's the office? I forget. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Don't mind if I do. All right, break time's over. Back to work. So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut ball. I sure could go for some peanuts. Lucky for you, I'm in a giving mood. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What'd you do? You lousy crook! Damn it! Damn it! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Me up. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Grandpa may be a little wimpy, but he's got great taste in hats. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Oh. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Huh. 
Deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. Need any help? Um, never mind. What now? I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. to push it again. Arthur's already there. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand... uh... mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah! Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. It's a good idea, but I already know where my dad is. And when. What now? Uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that! You have to hand it to him! It's me again! Please come down! Why? We represent the law! You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either! And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word! Sorry... some other time.
Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. Down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Don't I make don't me think angry, talk smucko! To right now. Get down here and face them, you. Who's it? No way! I worked too hard to get it. You can't get away that easy! Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell so. about it. You're dead meat, twerp. Better start composing your epitaph now. Einstein, help. Get out of crazy and hot. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. What now? What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's Kid? <laughs> uh, Arthur. Hmm. Maybe I should have led with the subpoena. What now? Kid. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I hate doing stuff like that. But, I won't have to much longer. No? 
Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. I don't need to go in there anymore. Younger self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Well, that could be a problem. I know, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand a teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. been all this time I missed you I've missed you too Marty but I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while free from the insanity of time travel I gotta admit it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months besides I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers so how are Clara and the kids they're fine fine right now we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Vern to college Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. We're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer? In 2011? Oh, forget I said anything. Hang in there, Doc. Cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Excuse me. You talking to me? Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not-so-well-to-do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious, malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that, that, that done burn down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the, the, just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. 
Did I have a bowl of soup? We were a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. For we were born only yesterday, and know nothing, and our days on Earth are but a shadow. Actually, I won't be born for about 40 years. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Damn it, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Parsley? It might help to, uh, complement the mellow flavor of the cabbage. Complement the mellow... What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. You might be on to something, kid. Let me see what I got. Uh. 
There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. tables for we keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees could you move them out of the way not a chance I could throw out my back Eureka Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Emmett. Yes? Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well... I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety, right. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right, that might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Ahem. <clears throat> what is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. Ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. 
and then picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. <laughs>